Hi Virgo, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today we're going to get you some messages. Let's see what's going on in your energy and what your angels and guides want to tell you at this time. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. You ready? All right, Virgo, let's see. Let's get some cards here. Knight of Cups, Eight of Swords, Page of Wands, Eight of Wands, Queen of Wands. Virgo, if you're single, there's a romantic offer coming in. A romantic offer that might make you feel like you are found love at first sight. Something, somebody who might really ignite a passion inside of you. A fire. Ooh, ooh, feels good. Now, if you're not single, that's obviously not your situation. But I do feel like you have some kind of romantic offer coming in. And it doesn't have to be romance, but some kind of like um, uh, an offer that you're going to appreciate. An offer that you're going to love. It's going to be a, a sincere offer. That's good. You might be a little worried about this offer. No matter what the circumstances, you might be a little worried about it, but you're going to make it out to be a lot worse than it actually is, really. It's not that bad. So you really, I don't, I don't think you have any reason to worry. I just want you to live in the moment, Virgo. Just live in the moment. If somebody makes you an offer and it makes you feel good, don't get wrapped up in your head over it. Just accept it. Right? Just try to live. Try to live in the here and now and expect the positives. You know, expect positive outcomes from it. Expect things to go good. Just, just do your best to live in the here and now. Now, the Page of Wands tells me that you, this offer, might bring a lot of ideas to your head. You might start getting excited about things. Like, you start might start making all these different plans or all these things that can happen, or all these things that you can do. Okay, but you know what? You're not going to be able to accomplish all, everything that you're thinking, right? So maybe you should just like kind of focus on, on one of those great ideas. Um, this way you, you can accomplish it, right? Especially when you like try to do a whole bunch of different things at once. Multitasking is not very productive. At least it's not for me. You know, you know, you, it's like starting a whole bunch of things, but not ever finishing anything. I want to check things off the list, you know, get something done. Anyway, if this isn't love at first sight, this eight of wands, then it is fast moving energy coming in for you. So something's coming in pretty quick. This opportunity, this offer, something is definitely here for you and it'll be here soon. Now you have the queen of wands. The queen of wands can make the magic happen, right? She's amazing. She's intelligent. She's charming. She's charismatic. She's beautiful or sexy. She's seductive. She just makes the magic happen. So you're going to have somebody eating out of the palm of your hand. That's what I feel. I don't know who it is or what the situation is, but you're going to have somebody eating out of the palm of your hand because you are just going to make the magic. You're just going to turn on that magic. And it's going to be pretty amazing to watch. <laughs> It, it, it just from an outsider like uh, from an outsider looking in it's going to be pretty amazing to see whether I see it or not somebody might see it though anyway let's get some cards <laughs> I like this I like what's coming in I don't like the fact that you're you're worried over it but a journey either physical or mental all right so that could be like the page of wands a little bit energy too, where we have all these ideas. So we kind of, kind of, you know, figure it out. Money, a path with money is waiting for you to find it. So this could be a job offer coming in, you know, it could be, or it could be, uh, 
I don't know. Uh, you meeting somebody that leads you to some kind of income here. I don't know. I, I don't know what that is. But that's just, I like that money's coming in. I like that love could be coming in and money could be coming in. Even travel could be coming in. <laughs> it's a possibility. But you know what? The whole What's really great is that you're like in this Queen of Wands energy. You're empowered. You know, you're just in the flow. You're just going to be amazing. Self-forgiveness though. Let go of old guilt and remember that you're God's perfect child. Uh, something's going to be, maybe that's what causes this, this anxiety. Something's going to come up that kind of reminds you of a situation that you feel guilt over or you feel bad about or you might feel embarrassed about. Something's coming up. Maybe that is what this journey has to do. It's a mental journey. You have to forgive yourself for whatever you feel guilty over or whatever you feel embarrassed by. I don't know. I think you're going to be reminded of something, though. Mm. That's not fun, but you know what? It's okay because if it's coming up for a reason, it's coming up so we, you can finally like release it, let it go. Condor, you're too enmeshed in this situation, so step back and see the bigger picture before making any decisions or taking actions. Why do I feel like you're going to come face to face with like an ex or something? Or, or somebody you made a fool of out of yourself over or... I don't know. Like, I feel like there's something embarrassing going to come up. And they're like, all right, like, just, just, you're going to be like feeling some type of way in the moment. So just like breathe, take a step back before you uh, make a situation worse or, you know, before you take any kind of impulsive action. Let's uh, breathe, settle, get our, collect our thoughts, and then. And then act. Maybe you're running into like an old crush. That you know made, maybe made a fool of. Made a fool out of yourself over. And you know. You got to forgive yourself for like being a dumb dumb. <laughs> I've been there. I get it. Most of the time, it's because I'm listening to the other people whispering in my head, making me do dumb things. Things I know I don't want to do, but they, but I figured out ah, they're pushing me out of my comfort zone. I might as well just do it and see what happens. And then I end up making a fool out of myself. And then I'm like, see, I knew I shouldn't have listened to you. I knew I was smarter than that. But, but then you do it anyway, right? So I kind of feel like there's a situation here where you, you might, like some embarrassment might be coming up, but you're, it's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. But knock, knock, there is an opportunity for you. So let's get the blurb because the blurbs are cute. What's the blurb say? No, you aren't hearing things. The universe is sending signs, guidance, divine messengers, and probably a neon billboard. Couldn't be a better time to answer the door and see who's come a-knocking. So... You're getting a neon sign saying this opportunity is meant for you. So jump on it. Whatever it is, jump on it. See where it takes you. <sighs> Excuse me. I hate yawning in readings. I say that all the time. I got to stop repeating myself. Dreams, vivid dreaming, dream messages, dream teaching. Ooh, you're getting messages through dreams. All right, try and remember your dreams. So if a dream wakes you up in the middle of the night, you better have a pen and paper next to your bed so you can jot that dream down. Even if you just drop, jot down a couple of words that will jog your memory in the morning so you remember the dream. You're getting messages. 
And I feel like it'll help you make either make a decision or know what to do. Or you could be fantasizing about somebody. Somebody that might be coming into your life. I don't know. But uh, I would I would definitely keep a dream journal if you can. Take off the... Blank colored glasses. And then that's not, doesn't say rose. All right. So it's like, stop being negative. Find the new normal. So things have changed. Things have changed. The energy is changing. Look how fast this energy is coming in for you. It's changing quickly. It's okay. It's okay. Don't be negative about it. It's happening for a reason. And it's probably happening for your highest good. So, what does it say on the back again? Find your new normal. Find find the the new normal. Find the new way of being. Adapt adapt to your situation. You can't change it. Everything happens for a reason. And it's happening to you for a reason right now. I don't know what that reason is, but it's happening. <laughs> so don't be negative about it. Be positive. But receiving what you need. And see, you're getting what you need. Not It may not be what you want, but you're getting what you need. And you're moving on. All right, so, you know, forgive yourself. Ugh, hopefully you don't come face to face with an ex that was like, ugh, I don't know. Because you're moving on. You're getting the closure that you need. Sometimes it doesn't feel good, but you'll you'll get it. You'll learn the lesson. <sighs> I just like the fact that money's coming in. Can we just focus on that, right? Focus that there's a path to money. That money always makes me feel better. <laughs> it just does. I don't know why it just does. It makes me feel better. Here we go. The child. The child's about new beginnings, magic, trust, hope, forgiveness. All right. This card represents a time in a child in childhood to which many of us wish we could return. She represents a time when we laughed with ease, wore our hearts on our sleeve, and were willing to take life and people we met on a face value. Okay, where we could trust others. The child in us is pure of heart. So have you become afraid to dream and follow your dreams? Have you become afraid to make a commitment because you believe you will only be disappointed? Oh yeah, that's totally me. <laughs> Do you move through life with the fear that others will not like you or will reject and abandon you? Have you become old in spirit before your time? Ooh, ooh, that's a tough one, right? We got to fix that. All too often we hold on to the painful memories and moments instead of remembering those that were full of love, laughter, and delight. We focus on the moments when we felt the most alone, afraid, instead of those when we were surrounded by love and happiness. We see every failure and forget to acknowledge our successes. We see only that we have not achieved instead of what we have accomplished. Oh, that's pretty powerful. Let's not focus on what we haven't achieved. Let's focus on what we have accomplished. I love that. Do not let past disappointments and personal failures lessen your ability to trust in yourself and others. Okay. So you got to forgive yourself for those embarrassing moments, right? All right. So something's coming up where you're going to be faced with either an embarrassing moment or something that's uncomfortable. And you're going to have to forgive yourself for how you've handled it in the past or and, uh, you know, breathe before you react this time, right? And try not to be so negative, right? We're, we're, uh, 
we're adapting to a new situation here. Because it is what it is. And that's how you have to feel. It is what it is. Because when you can get to that point, that shows how powerful you really are. Because nothing can affect you in a negative way then. Let me pull you some charms. You got the starfish. So I kind of feel like you are regenerating or you might be um, reinventing yourself in some way. Get back in that saddle. It's okay. If life knocked you down, you're going to get back in the saddle now. And you learned. Look, look how wise you are because you've learned from the past and things are going to be good. Look, you have some kind of really great offer coming in, right? It could be love. It could be love at first sight. You're going to be the queen of wands. You're going to be making this magic happen. So even if there's an embarrassing moment that comes up, like get through it because you're the queen of wands. You, got the, you can make the magic happen. Look at that. Look at that mermaid. That's magical. Right? We have the Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty reminds me of childhood. So you have the child here too. So uh, are you thinking about the past? Are you thinking you could go back? You can't. <laughs> Sorry. You can't. You can't go back. You could recreate something in a different way, but you can't go back. Past is gone. It's done. It's over. So do you want to feel like a kid again? Then feel like a kid again. That's okay. That's okay. I don't know, Virgo. I don't really understand exactly what's coming in for you. It kind of took some twists and turns here. It started out as this beautiful romantic offer and then turned into some kind of path to money and then it turned into some embarrassing... Uh, <laughs> moment but a new opportunity is coming in so you know what just stay positive take it one day at a time and love life as best you can that's what i got for you so give the video a like subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment all those things help me and i appreciate you for it till next time love and light